Okay, last video on stuff for main decking and go with everything else. Uh, try to be quick about this. Uh, maxis, I really feel, are mandatory at two, maybe three, either main decked or side decked. Mandatory at two, three is not a bad idea. Main decked, either two or three, or side decked at two or three. Just for all the spell summoning, worthless against Bujins, but we naturally just we just naturally just take a big dump on Bujins. No offense, Bujin players. It's like Guerrero's just naturally hate you. Uh, effect Veilers, I feel is mandatory either two in the main deck or side deck. I like it in the main deck. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Depending on your matchup, these here are Godsends or the Ultimate Nightmares. In fact. Both of these are godsends, depending on the particular match, but then again, artifacts really don't care, and, you know, depending on your matchup, but there are a bunch of cards that just don't care, and they are kind of worthless against, for certain decks, not all of them. Uh, one Rescue Rabbit, depending if you're running Artorguses. It's like, if you're running two or three... I highly recommend it, but it's not mandatory, but you can. Honest. Oh, honestly. Uh, you can only play one. So, if you're going to play it honest, I recommend it. It's like, after I don't even recommend it. This is personal preference. It's like, it's not mandatory. It's cool for little tricks. But it's really just not that epic of a card in the deck. It's like, there's no recycling power for it. Like, Life Swarms make so much better use with it. Uh, Thunder King Ryo! Uh, you can run him. He pretty much tells Boars to go fuck himself, because you can't search your deck. But, uh, you can run him. He's not bad. I don't think he's... Well, actually, he's pretty decent in this current in this coming up format because it stops your opponent from searching a shit to hand. So you can run him at one. It's like one to zero preference. The Photon Thrasher, it's zero one two it's zero one or two. Uh if you're running Effect Varies or Lady of the Lake, I enjoy running him. Cause there's nothing like, okay, I'll special summon him out then, you know. Actually, that's a really cool thing. You can special summon him out. Use brothers, special summon another two out. And you have material for four monsters. Or you have four monsters on the field that you can do stuff with. Not mandatory. This is personal preference. Whatever. You know. Like, you can do some cool shit. Now on to... Sp I can't think of any other monsters. Maybe sc Scrap Scarecrows. It's like you could run Scrap Scarecrows if you're just afraid of being OTK'd. There have been plenty of times where I wished I main decked two Scrap Scarecrows in case my opponent destroyed my field so he couldn't just OTK me. Or maybe Gores, but they're very, like that's pretty counter t uh, counterproductive to next stuff. Uh, Foolish Burial, apparently a lot of people are like, oh yeah, Foolish, because you run a lot of stuff that wants to be in Graveyard. Grand Lancelin, Actor, Guinevere, our graveyard targets, even Lady of the Lake, you know, are good targets. You can even use it to send Madrot to the graveyard and get Chad to add him back to hand. You know, I was like, this is not a terrible card. I don't particularly care for it, but I'll do some more playtesting and get back to you on it. Reinforcement Army, mandatory. This is optional one too. This is mandatory if you don't know why. Um, you should re recheck your reasons for living. Uh, Forbidden Lance. It's like, there is no mandatory level on this. Either you want to run it or you don't. It's like, there's a counter argument of you can run trap stuns instead. Uh, I don't have them and I don't particularly care for trap stuns and this is so much more aggro based. Now you run wherever you want on this part. It's like you. It's like this is great for helping secure secure your plays. You know, I I like it at two. You could run three, which is belligerent, belligerent but uh, one will not cut. One is not going to do enough. You run two or three or none. One is just kind of pointless unless you're very very freaking lucky. Uh, Kaiser Coliseum. 
Uh, this is either zero because you don't want to run it, or two of. I run two. I love running this at two. Sacred King and this, I won so many games from just locking the field. Actually, the best game was I summoned Gwen, equipped Destiny, uh, Caliburn, and Guinevere had this on field in Fiendish Chain. He summoned Raiden, flipped Fiendish Chain, target Raiden, and literally just sat there and was going to let him deck out. I wasn't going to kill his monster. I was just going to sit there. He couldn't summon anything else. He did not run a Celestia, and he did not main deck MST, so he was screwed. He couldn't do nothing. I was like, I'll just wait until you deck out. I don't care. It's like, draw and go. Draw and go. Draw and go. And he started milling stuff to the graveyard. Maybe I can get something in my deck that I can use. And he literally got down to three cards, and he surrendered. You know, because he was solar recharging, um, charger light brigade, uh, just did all this crap to go for his deck, and it's like, surrender. Because he knew, no MSTs, no Celestia, couldn't do crap. I don't care what anyone says. This is a powerful card in the deck, no matter what happens. And we abuse it so much better than Bujins. Uh, the double MST... Um, I actually have a third one around here. I have no idea, but I do have a, a third, a third one. It really depends. It's like I've seen plenty of Nova Knight players who don't run these. And the coming format, these really aren't great. Like they're nice. It's like they're great for spot removal, you know, because there's plenty of just crap that annoys me. It gets in the way. But artifacts is kind of pointless. Uh, Medoches, you're going to target their field spell and that back row thing. You're not going to worry about face downs. You're going to pop the shit that gives them more shit. Because once they get their stuff going, you can't stop it. You just can't. Um, zero to three. It's like you can third. You can side the third MST or inside two of them. Main deck two trap stuns, whatever. That's your preference. Like, I prefer MSTs because there's crap that I just don't want to stay on the field. Uh, the next one is really kind of interesting. It's like, Polyduality, I don't really like running it. It's like, you know, it's one of those things of, I don't really see the point. You can, but you can't spec summon for the turn, so you're, you're literally setting up for next turn. I don't like setting up the next turn. I want to set up as soon as I... As I can, but if I have the stuff to stand up, automatically I'll just set up and use this later. So it's kind of weird. I should probably play test these. The never three, like zero three. It's preference on what you're trying to get, do. You could run up start goblins. I don't have them. You could run reckless greeds. I don't have them. I don't recommend them, and I don't think they're that good. Like, I understand the theory of running upstarts of, okay, I can get to my key cards quicker, but that only matters if you draw all three of them and play all three. Otherwise, you have the same statistical chance of drawing everything that you would have. But you are three cards less of things you can do, if that makes sense. I need to stop doing that. Uh, Shagun enough. Side deck. Great material. Uh, Dimensional Fissure really doesn't screw us over. I mean, it screws Guinevere over and our Exceed monsters, but once you Exceed and stuff, your knights go to the graveyard, and this doesn't hurt us. Like, really at all. It does very little harm to us. And I've actually play tested this main deck successfully very well. It's like, you know, I, it's like. It's a zero one of. I like in the side deck or main deck. It's pretty nice. Book of Moon is just zero one preference. You know, depending on what your meta is. You know, which a lot of people don't understand. Of it's your meta. It's like, well, the World Championship. That's not your meta though. It's like if you go to World Championship, that's a different meta. Everywhere you go is a different meta. You know. It's like the meta game. All right, there's a certain standard of quality for the higher ups, but then again, your local is going to be different. This at World Championship, maybe garbage. At your locals, 
you just rape Bill, Bob, and Tommy, and eight other players, and you just, well, five other players, no, seven up, eight man won a box. You rape three people and another four, so you won a box. You know, that's like preference on that. Dark Hole is like is definitely preference because like there's decks that it's just destroyers and decks that it's just like well this doesn't matter anymore. It's like you won't see Dark Hole and Light Swarms. <laughs> they don't need it. Uh, we're almost through. Uh, this video is taking longer. Sorry. Uh, release restraint wave. This is heavy storm for us. You know, target one face up equip spell card you control, destroy the equip card, and all face down spell and trap cards your opponent controls. All face. Okay, that kind of sucks. If it was all of them, including face up, I would. That's why I'm not main decking it, because I literally looked at this today and was like, why am I not playing this again beyond, you know, just kind of. Awkward not having it when I really need it moments. So, this is a zero to two of, you know, preference. Like, it's, it ain't the best, but it's something you can play. Swords at Dawn, I need two more of these. Swords at Dawn is Dryston written all over it. I, moving on. For traps. Vacuration, Compulse, amazing, Psalm Warning, amazing, Bomber's Trap Hole, freaking amazing. I actually mainboard these along with Two Fingers Chains. It's like, this has been amazing for me. It's like, this has done everything I needed. You know, spot removal, stop crap. This pers Kaiser Coliseum has just literally allowed me to hold out and just build up a field and swarm my field and my opponent and kill him. Uh, it's like you cannot go wrong with these. I know people who just swear by this is the worst idea in Noble Knights and like breakthrough skill, breakthrough skill. What's breakthrough skill? It's good but it doesn't stop attacks. You know, grant I can negate, I can use it twice, but this stops attacks and Kaiser Coliseum, which allows me to just lock my opponent down. It's like you be amazed at what you can do. Grant that's worthless against artifacts, because they can just do other crap, but they have a bunch of back row pop. Uh Torrential Tribute, Mirror Force. Great cards, but I don't feel like this is the meta for these, if that makes sense. Like this it's they're not like I can totally see this going to three. I know it's at two, I can't remember if it's at three. I can see this going up to three now and this just being one of those technically they could bump it up to two, kind of. Uh, wire trap wire taps and trap stones. You can totally play those and have a field day with them. If they work for you, great. I don't have them and I don't particularly care for them. And these, I feel, are mandatory in the side deck at two, if not three. Roll decrees just for all the bullshit <laughs> bullshit burn players. Sorry. For all the bullshit burn players and exodias. It's like, screw them. And just any deck that is just obsessed with back row traps. That isn't trap trick artifacts because they have back row hate for spell and traps. That's where you need to test this out. Yeah, trap stuns technically better than these. Technically. And that's it for the deck stuff. I'll probably post up a deck profile in a little while. Bye.